Hello all, welcome back to Scratch Programming Day 3 session. In today's session, we are going to learn about ball balance game. So, this is how it will work. So, to start, please click on the flag. And to move the ball, you have to use your arrow keys on your keyboard. I am using up arrow, down arrow, right and left arrows to navigate my ball and this is how I can take my ball up and down and as you see there are some obstacles and uh, the end goal of this particular game is like we have to move to that particular red line I will take my ball to this red line so that uh, I'll be able to win the game like this I have to cross this red line but to do that uh, I have to cross these two obstacles and when the ball is touching these two obstacles it will come back to its original position and this is how the game will work and let us see how to build this game so let us get into the project straight away I'm going to click on this create button so that I'll be able to create a new project yes my project is getting created yes now immediately you can just name your project so that you'll be uh, you know saving this project as it is ball bounce or uh, ball I'm just going to name it as ball game okay simple and you can name this game anything you want and uh, I'm just deleting the sprite and taking a new sprite called as ball because ball is the hero of this particular game so I want this ball to be here and um, the next sprite is so we saw there was two green color paddle that was like moving around so that is a paddle itself and that is available in our scratch library so let us take that also and keep it here okay and then the next thing is we require that finish line right so that is called as line and over here it is so again you can just go to the sprites library of scratch and every other sprite is available for this game in scratch itself and you need not to create anything on your own so you can place them like this and uh, after you place them so let us first give the navigation controls to our ball so how to give this navigation control so let us go to event and uh, we have to be in ball so make sure that you have selected this ball sprite and then only you are coding it so you should not be in paddle or line to code it okay so you should come to the ball and then you have to code it so the first thing is let us take win space key pressed and here I don't want that space key to be pressed instead I want this arrow key to be pressed so to just get the drop down please click on that uh, option so that uh, there will be a drop down and here you can see a lot of different keys that you have and you can select one of them right so once you do this once when the up arrow key is pressed so what I have to do is I have to move up and down so if I want to move up and down I cannot just move like this like taking this move 10 steps I cannot do that right so for that I have some special blocks called as change x y change x by and change y by so what is this x and y will do so x will move the ball in horizontal direction and y will move in vertical direction so horizontal means it can move either right or left uh, if it is like vertical then it can move only up and down so in this way what we can do I'm going to change this particular sprite by y like I'll change y by 10 so when I do this when I click this up arrow you can see means like now I'm clicking on the keyboard up arrow so I'm able to move up but I'm not able to move down when I click down arrow so why I'm not able to do is that is because I've not coded it yet right so I have not given any functionality for down arrow so let us do that now again I'll go to this when space key pressed take down arrow and again I'll go to motion and take this change y by I'll put minus 10 here so why minus 10 here so positive y axis will take my ball upwards negative y axis or negative numbers will take my down will will take my ball downwards so it is like 
something like this see I'm clicking on down arrow up arrow right okay now I have to code it for right and left so right and left I'm not able to move and here you have to observe this carefully now so when I click right arrow basically when I click the right arrow now I have to move or I have to change the direction of this particular ball in x direction so change x by 10 so positive x means it can go right negative x means it can go left but still I have not coded it it is not coming left now so it can only go right up and down right up and down so this is what it can go so now what I'll do I'll just go to events and take this block completely and uh, put left arrow after taking left arrow I'll go to motion then take change x by minus 10 so this is how it is so after doing this we will be able to move our ball in all the four directions right left up and down so I'll be able to move my ball in all these different directions so I have just you know coded this ball sprite to you know move up and down so now it's time for us to move the paddle okay so let us go and see the paddle code how it has been done so how to uh, make this paddle move always you know uh, forever uh, to the right and left it should be like uh, it should act like an obstacle for this particular ball it should be like keep sliding in this particular direction so how will I do that so it is very easy the logic behind this is like whenever you click this flag right whenever we click this flag I have to make this ball move 10 steps but this 10 steps should be always you know it should always repeat this action of moving 10 steps and if I just click this flag okay sorry I have just took repeat 10 steps like instead of that I'll just take forever 10 steps like forever I have to move 10 steps now you can see right see ah now it is like getting vanished it is going out of the screen right it's going out of the screen so how to get it back so to get this back we have one block in motion that block is called as if on edge bounce block okay so you just put this block and immediately you can see this particular paddle will go to end of the screen and it will immediately bounce back to the same surface so this block means that only right if on edge we are asking the ball we are asking the paddle to bounce back so this is what we are asking the paddle to do so we had two paddles right in our uh, you know output so you might ask now like we have only one paddle how to get one more paddle so it is the same thing that you can just go choose the sprite and you can get that and do the coding accordingly otherwise one of the easiest method that we can do is I'll just take my cursor and uh, build on top of the paddle like this below I guess uh, you're able to see my cursor right so here and then right click duplicate it completely you see paddle 2 now so it is placed here above right so now what I can do is and you can observe paddle 1 also has this code and paddle 2 also has this code already right line doesn't have any code but paddle 2 has a code and paddle 1 also paddle 1 matlab like paddle the previous paddle that you had so that also you have so now whenever you click the flag immediately see what is happening yeah so the paddles are moving quite well but uh, you know your ball is able to pass through that paddle and also through the line so nothing is happening so it's time for us for to code this particular ball to sense if it is touching the paddle so let us come back to the ball again okay so now this paddles are moving all quite well so now let us take the same event block when the flag is clicked so when the flag is clicked we have to sense something forever it's like we have to sense it for every other moment whenever we sense it for every other moment only we'll be able to understand what is happening in and around us right so the same thing 
we are doing it for the ball also we are telling the ball also to sense like to observe always if that particular ball is touching paddle or paddle 1 or paddle 2 so that is what we are trying to tell so forever it should observe if so I have to go to sensing now so in the sensing I have this touching mouse pointer instead of mouse pointer I'll take it to paddle so this is again you please see I'm just coding to the ball so you you should also code to the ball only okay don't miss this step so now touching paddle what I have to do basically I have to come back to the original position so this is my position and this is where I have to come back so I'll just go to motion and I'll take this particular okay let me just yes now I'll go to the motion and then take go to XY position if it is touching the paddle so it should come back so let us check whether this particular code works or not so I'll just click the flag and uh, yeah it's doing quite well so I'll just go here and try to cross from this end oh yeah it's doing its job perfectly so it is throwing this particular ball to the start position whenever it is being touched here so now I'll just duplicate all these things see here where I'm duplicating I'll just hold here and then I'll duplicate and only this if part you will get this as a duplicate and I'm putting below this if block but inside forever okay so now what I'll do I'll just change this paddle to paddle 2 so again click on the flag and check for it's working yes it is doing its job perfectly it is throwing the ball back oh yeah I'm also able to oh this is this is quite well okay good so now it's time for us to code to this particular red line so how I'm not able to you know get anything when I'm crossing the red line that is because we have not coded it at so we'll just do the same coding for the line also so in the line we will just go and take when flag clicked I should do something right again the same thing have to keep sensing like the line has to keep sensing if it is touching the ball okay the logic is simple right it has to keep sensing this forever if it is touching the ball so if then and sensing touching the ball right it's very easy if it is touching the ball then it should go to the looks and say you win so now you see immediately it is telling you win but if I click the flag the game is starting but uh, my ball is not coming back to its original position right so for that what I'll do I'll just go I'll come to the ball again I'll stop this code I'll come to the ball again so take when flag is clicked so what should happen it should set its position right so where it has to set its position so this is anyway the starting position right I'm taking this blue color block I'm duplicating this only this and I'm putting it here and you can see now whenever I click the flag immediately the ball will come down and the ball can move in all different directions at the same time whenever it is touching the uh, obstacles that is nothing but this paddles it is also like coming down and that paddles are pushing this ball down to this starting position and whenever the ball reaches the line the line is telling you win so this is all the code is I hope you enjoyed it please practice this perfectly and enjoy this game thank you so we'll meet again in the next session to do some more games okay bye take care